ghost ride a motorcycle hero. Rollins Band cover of the suicide song Ghost Rider. Check it out. That's right, friends. It's your man Z with How Reviews Will Kill You. And I don't normally do rumors, but this one is just too good to miss out on. You guys got to hear this one. It could mean a ton for the Marvel Universe. And Giant Freaking Robot, they're putting their like gold star certified. We guarantee this is going to happen on this. Exclusive Norman Reedus Reed from Walking Dead fame has signed to play Ghost Rider. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, he for about two months he's been in talks with Marvel and nobody really knew what it was. So now they are saying they have trusted and proven inside sources that share that Norman Reed is assigned to play Ghost Rider in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's been saying since the summer of 2021, he's like, somebody call me, make it happen. He's like, I want to do it. I guess it's always been a dream of his. Dude's clearly a mo motorcycle enthusiast. He has a whole show of him being on a motorcycle. In the video game, uh, uh, it's not Walking Dead, but it's a walking simulator. Death Stranding. He also drives a motorcycle in that. I mean, dude's clearly psyched about it. I think he would be an awesome Johnny Blaze. I just I couldn't think of a better character. I know people want Keanu to do it, which would be cool, but Norman Reedus has like that soul. You know, he's really got that grit that I think would really bring it to life on the, the big screen. So I'm super excited about this. Uh, there's been other in incarnations of Johnny Blaze. Nicolas Cage played him in two movies. People really like Nicolas Cage in that role. I, he is bonkers in it, so it's kind of fun. The Gabrielle Luna one played Robbie Reyes, who's not it's not Johnny Blaze, so it's a different art incarnation of Ghost Rider. I, some people seem to like that. I'm not super stoked about that, but I definitely want to see him uh, be the, the you know, this skull flaming vengeance monster that Ghost Rider is. The other cool part of this is uh, apparently he's been spotted on uh, liking tweets from fans pertaining to his role as Ghost Rider. And he's hoping, you know, he's pushing people along uh, to, to really embrace this. I'm definitely embracing this. This is really cool. They're saying there's a, with the multiverse stuff that there's a possibility several people could play Ghost Rider. I'm, I don't know. This multiverse stuff might get played out. Uh, I am not super into that stuff, but what I think is kind of cool is they already have Blade, um, Blade coming out. And they're going to have a movie around Blade uh, with Maharshala Ali. I think that's going to be really good. It's gotten Wesley Snipes' uh, stamp of approval. I think there's a great actor. The thing that really could excite us, and these are more rumors, but they could have the Midnight Suns, which is really cool. So think about it. they gonna have almost like their own little Ghost Rider universe pocket of the world thing going on. Now, for those of you who don't know about the comic book, um, there's a team that could purportedly have they've had it they've teamed up several times, but it's it's um, Ghost Rider, Blade, sometimes uh, Morbius, but they, hopefully they don't have him, and um, Punisher. Could you and and they've been talking that they. They want to keep John Barenthal in as Punisher. What a better, what better way to introduce him than in this like horror concept that we that you have here with all the vampires and Ghost Rider and the supernatural and all this other crazy stuff. What better way to do it is have him appear in a, maybe getting a cameo in Blade, and then have them eventually tie together into a completely separate movie. I mean, you know, we're not talking. Like, these guys are, are, like, down and dirty. And we're not talking the Avengers, but I, I think it sounds like a great idea. How, how cool could that be? This is an older article uh, from 2020. But it seems like things are happening, especially if this exclusive from uh, Giant Freaking Robot turns out to be true. I could not be more excited. <laughs> the possibility of these three actors being in a movie together, not to mention I would just be super excited. 
standalone Norman Reedus, Ghost Rider, really good story. I would just I would take that and run with it. But the possibility of the Midnight Suns, ooh, it's almost too much. It's too exciting. So uh, what do you guys say out there? Are you excited about this? Is this something you're really looking forward to? I hope I dropped a teeny tiny bit of comic book knowledge on you and what could pur pur purportedly happen in the future, which could be very exciting for all of us. I can't think of a better, cooler scenario where they have this kind of like supernatural dark universe that ties all these guys together and man that was really cool especially you know with today's cgi and, and all the other stuff that's gone you could really have a cool ghost rider it, and what a better actor i can't i just can't think of one who, who could do it any better than norman Reedus. so let's see let's see what happens folks i'm excited i hope you are let me know in the comments below please like and subscribe we definitely need your help we could definitely use it uh, every time you share the video, it helps us grow just a little bit more, and we're trying to spread our tendrils out there. So uh, you can also catch our our uh, audio podcast, which is free. It's, it's uh, out there everywhere. iTunes, Spotify, all those great places. Free. Download it. Just search for Our Reviews Will Kill You, and you can catch us there. And we do our live stream Friday nights, Eastern Standard Time, at 7.30 p.m. usually. So check those out, too. And um, I'm on to the next one.